A ninth COVID-19 related death has been recorded. Minister of Health Akila Byron Nisbet announced today, 15 September, on a live broadcast. In her statement, Minister Byron Nisbet indicated that as of midday, 15 September, St. Kitts and Nevis recorded 1,556 cases of COVID-19. She expressed condolences to the family as well as to families of the eight persons who passed away earlier. It is therefore with a deep sense of sorrow that I now inform that St. Kitts and Nevis has recorded a ninth death attributed to the COVID-19. On behalf of the government of St. Kitts and Nevis and the Ministry of Health, I express profound condolences to the family and loved ones of the deceased. Certainly, our thoughts and prayers are with this family who are mourning the loss of their loved ones, as well as with the other eight families who passed earlier from the ravages of the deadly virus. We pray that God will grant them the serenity and peace they need to get through this difficult period. The minister urged citizens and residents to become vaccinated with the vaccines that are available to them. There are no easy answers. I don't need to remind you that the COVID-19 pandemic has turned our world upside down. Since the earliest days of the pandemic, St. Kitts and Nevis has been in the fight against COVID-19 for over 18 months. We have urged everyone to comply with the established non-pharmaceutical measures until we receive safe vaccines. We knew that the vaccines would be a vital tool for bringing the pandemic under control. There are two vaccines now available in the Federation, which have been proven to be safe and effective. The vaccines offer the best protection against severe disease, leading to hospitalization and death. Sadly, of the nine COVID-19 related deaths registered in the Federation, only one was vaccinated. Vaccines save lives. And the evidence is irrefutable. Currently, St. Kitts and Nevis has no mandatory order on vaccination. However, legal authorities throughout the region say that governments can make vaccinations mandatory under the Public Health Acts. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.